What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be putting some LED bulbs in my turn signals for the rear and the front. And also too, to help the hyper blinking, I bought a um, Diodynamic Smart Tap flasher relay. So that should help to fix the, the hyper flashing. So let's get started. So replacing the back one, you're going to need to pull down this liner and then the bulb is the first one over here. So we'll just twist it and pop it out. Also, when you're taking these out, I'll just be careful and probably just use a microfiber towel or something to grab the bulb. I mean, just in case, even if, if you're not gonna use them, just in case, so that way you don't ruin the bulb because the oils on your hand will ruin those. So I started to replace, I replaced the front one. This is what the old one looks like. And that's what the new one looks like. A lot brighter. So now I'm gonna replace this side and show you guys what to do. So first thing to get to the front turn signal, which is right up there, it's way easier to go from the fender liner. So there's one clip right here. And then on my car, there should be another clip here, but it's not on my car. So you'll pretty much just screw this and pop it off. And then you'll pop the other clip on this right here and then pull back the fender liner and you'll see where the bulb is. So when you pop those cliffs off, you'll pull back the fender liner and then up there, the gray connector, you'll unscrew that, that's where your light bulb is. And then we'll unplug it and put the new LED one in there. So it's pretty easy. Um, just reach your hand up in there and there's plenty of wire so that way you can come out of the fender well and change it. So now we'll just pop that out and put the new LED in there. I right, got the new LED in there. Now we will twist it back up in there and then close up the fender liner. And then for the flasher module, um, for this Corolla, there's one panel here that you gotta take off. And the flasher module is right here. The best way to find it is just to turn on your hazards and listen for the clicking noise. When you'll find that, that's when you know that's the flasher module. So pretty much you just unplug that, plug in the new flasher relay, and then you're good to go. This is supposed to add a little bit more functionality to your turn signals and your hazard lights. Um, it's pretty simple to install. I've already installed it. This is the factory one that came with my car. Um, but in my car, it was like right under the steering column. Um, I installed it right there. So one of the features on this is the tap to turn, which my car, on, I know on a lot of newer cars, that when you just tap it, it'll signal usually three or four times. This gives it the functionality to do that. So you just push it up just a little bit and then your blinker will flash four times and you can actually program it to flash between, I believe three to seven times. Then another function of the Smart tap thing is when you press your hazards, it does a strobing um, and it'll strobe or flash your lights a couple times each time, like every few seconds. And then there's different modes where you can push up on the, on the stock and it'll give you wig wag, which they call. And then if you push down on the stock, it'll give you the same thing, but slower. So this is what the hazards look like when they're just 
on with the diode dynamics on flasher relay. That's the back. And that's the front. And then if you hit the turn signal stock, if you hit the turn signal stock up, it does the wigwag. And then if you hit it down, it'll do the same thing, but slower. 